okay today today uh, our task is to develop optimal lag selections meaning that how many lags should be optimum for a particular model that we shall develop today so the first question is how many lags we should choose that is the first question for a model so here there could be lag 1 there could be lag 2 there could be lag 3 so which lag is the optimum so and you know that there are many ways actually there are many ways but one way is to choose the lowest Akaika information criteria value the lower the AIC value better the model all the time so meaning that the model which has lowest AIC value that model would be the best so here here we have the data here we have the data I am taking all the data now just one minute uh, I'm bringing the models so our model is here you can see our model yeah so uh, so this is our model you can see this is our data so we have two variable cons and GDP so I am opening the data open so this one is a time series data you can see the data from here so cons one variable and GDP another variable and the data has started from 1970 until 1995 so it is from 1970 to 1995 and here uh, with this data we can develop a vector error correction model meaning that VECM model meaning that restricted VAR model we can develop here and our plan is to develop a VECM models okay okay how to develop the model I go to quick I go to estimate VAR and I write the two variables GDP and cons and here we assume that our two variables such as GDP and cons are co-integrated that we assume that and if they are co-integrated then we should use the vector error correction model meaning that this one vector error correction model uh, vector error correction model uh, we can use it here because we assume that our two variables such as GDP and cons are co-integrated meaning that GDP and cons have long run association ship okay so here 
so how many lakhs that is the questions in this model in this VSA model how many lakhs we should use okay first I begin with lag one you see here lag one I begin with lag one then I see what happens so I proceed So here you can see the vector error correction model and here is suppose there is one co-integrated vector or one co-integration equations in these models. So I go down, I go down and this is the dependent variable. We have two dependent variable here. So I go down and and I come here Akaika information criteria and the value of Akaika information criteria is 21.69 when I choose 1 lakh when I choose 1 lakh the Akaika information criteria become 21.69 okay then then what have happens if I choose 2 lakh so I go to estimate you can see from here you click on estimate so here what I do I put here 2 lakhs you can see Two lakhs, right? Then I press OK. So here is also the result of vector error correction model having two lakhs. You can see all the variables have two lakhs, right? All the variables have two lakhs. And what is the value of Akaika information criteria or AIC 21.97? Okay. Okay, now we check again what happens if I choose 5 lakhs. I go to estimate, click on estimate. So I put here. 5 lakhs 1 to 5 1 to 5 means 5 lakhs okay so I I proceed it is the vector error estimates but having 5 lakhs you can see from here so this is the two dependent variables and each independent variables have five lakhs right you can see from here one two three four five lakhs and constant but what about our Akaika information criteria 21.45 so AIC value is 21.45 when we have chosen 5 lakhs and what uh, what is this 21.45 it is the it is the AIC of the whole system it is the AIC value of the whole VECM system having 5 lakhs Okay, then uh, then uh, we do we, we do some more. So now now our plan is to choose lag six. So I go to estimate. Click on estimate. So here is five lags. So 
so here I put 6 lakhs 1 to 6 means 6 lakhs then what happens it is the vector error correction model having 6 lakhs you can see from here these are two dependent variables in the system since as we have chosen 6 lakhs every variable will have 6 lakhs you can see from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and what is the value of AIC of the whole system 21.80 it is the value of the whole VECA model having 6 lakhs ok now what is the guideline lower the AIC value better the models that is the always guideline so what we have, we have done here we have chosen lag 1 we have chosen lag 2 we have chosen lag 5 and we have chosen also lag 6 A and the value of the of the AIC is the lowest when I choose when I choose lag 5 the value of lag 5 become the value of AIC when I choose lag 5 is 21.45 so that that means the model having 5 lags is the best model I am telling again model vector error correction model having 5 lakhs is the optimum model because the AIC value becomes smallest or the AIC value having 5 lakhs is the lowest so we should choose the model having 5 lakhs